Item number for the funny dreams, it's 8345160. Okay, let's talk about the Sharon Dasher, shall we? I gave you a look at this real quickly at the top of the hour, and that is our final shoe in the show. This is a darling slip-on. I love the wedge look to it, but it's really about that bow detail. $74.18 on this loafer. Your easy pay right now is $12.36 but that's not going to be available after 459 Eastern. More than 85,000 pairs ordered in medium and wide, and look at these colors. Now, I presented this before. We did not have this no, one. You, I when mean. We, can we start there? Because that red, it's. I love it because it's a no apologies red. Exactly. Yep. This is like fire engine red. This is real, real red, like nail polish red. Wow. Uh-huh. Almost, you called that, uh -huh. Mary. Um, it's so A beautiful. lot of times we do a muted red. This one is like bright and happy and yeah. cheerful. I so love that shoe in red. But then let's talk about some of the other colors that have been available since the shoe launched at QVC. This is the Aubergine. Sound familiar? We just saw it in our funny dream. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Here it is in the brown. Always I love very limited the brown. The I, I think it's so rich. The gray is too to me. Mm -hmm. I think it's because I'm getting tan and black as contrast with it. Mm -hmm. So pretty there. If you want a metallic, we'll have one option for you, and that's the pewter. That's what I have. And when I open the box and when you get it at home, it's even better in person. Mm -hmm. Here's the black. Luxury, isn't it? In suede. And you'll be able to see the bow detail even better once you get these home. Finally, up top, we've got these in the navy but it's not too dark. And I'll just show you for the sake of comparison, the black next to the navy. See, there's a real difference there. So what's so unique about this shoe and why do you think it struck well, a chord? Well, I really have to give it to our QVC ladies because you guys started the trend. The Sharon was this outsole, first debuted here before yeah. anywhere else. And everyone loves it because it's that low heel height. It's almost like a flat form effect. I think it's about, I want to say one and- I've got it as one and a half. Yeah, one okay. and a half with a half inch in the front. So the pitch of your foot is not that severe. Then you have that serrated bottom. It looks like little waves. It's allowing for grip and traction, but style-wise that lug sole, like that mm -hmm. is so in right now. Mm -hmm. And then you have that light tan ran that connects the upper to the outsole, but it frames the Sharon Dasher. And you can see it's a beautiful almond shaped toe. And there it is, that origami inspired knot detail, two points of gore on each side. So you're just stepping in and going and you have our cushion soft footbed. That is, you, you can even see, we call this flexible arch support. It's not gonna need to be broken in. It's gonna feel great right away. You have padding at the heel here. You've got that moisture management foam, that antimicrobial foam, which is gonna wick away the moisture and the odor. Mm -hmm. Ortholite footbed helps absorb shock and that single density lasting support. I wanna ask you about the quality of the suede, but first, the lightweight yes. element here is wild because I think you're going to look at this and you're going to be like, oh, that might be a more substantial shoe. But you went to work I, to prove the I point. I did. And it's just like a little, it's basically three handfuls of candy corn. Like that's <laughs> how light it is. It's 100, I think I counted 144. But I mean, I sat there eating all of the bag, the rest of the bag. And wow. there was plenty left in the bag. That's, that's how lightweight it is. How awesome is that we're comparing it to candy. Oh, I, I know but my next hint, hint, yes. Sharon, which will be coming up in September, oh. hint, hint. I am trying very hard to find something to compare it to. So if anyone has mm -hmm. suggestions, I tried an apple, but I didn't know if like people think an apple is lightweight. Uh -huh. I was confused. So, a cookie. A oh cookie? my God, that's delicious! Oh, yeah. I that's love that. Like, like, Chips Ahoy, that's very okay. Popular, so people know what they. That's like. a great idea, that Suzanne. Thank you. Let's do a Chips Ahoy. No, I'm going to Wegmans and buying. That would them be right phenomenal. Now. That is so, so tell good. me about the the leather here because when I see like when you look at the pewter on Suzanne, you can really see the ruching, like the folds. Yes. In that material, it has to be exceptional quality right. to do that because otherwise you'd see cracking the pewter has leather with this metallic overlay 
uh, melted into it. So this is never gonna peel, it's never gonna flake off. It's, it's genuinely part of the material. And you're right, to get those twists and knots, you really need a high quality mm -hmm. material. And then I love the navy because it's a vibrant navy. Yeah. A lot of times you say, is this navy or black? No, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is your blue suede shoot that Elvis would approve of. And I love it with the dress because even without the jacket, Ico could wear this right now mm -hmm. in a beautiful summer day like we're having today. And then come fall, she can pair this even, um, you know, with a navy tight. Oh, pretty. Um, yeah. yeah, that's rich. Tights are really big um, this season, which I, love I'm, I do too. Oh my gosh, you don't have to shave. You don't have I to know. lotion. Done. I know. <laughs> Um, I haven't been shaving. Like I mean, I've really now kicked into fall fashion. Yeah. So my my shaving schedule has already reduced I quite hear a you. bit. I know. Same. Also, my, my pedicure is gone. I know. Well, and for us here on television, like we have to take even better care of our feet. So when we start presenting fall styles, I like love it. We feel yes, liberated. It is. Oh my God, I, and I'm the worst. I our ladies are so amazing. I see them putting you know lotion on everything. I'm just like hi. These are yeah. my feet. <laughs> so cute. So Amy anything. and I are wearing, by the way, that's the big deal. If you would like to have a clog style, because we all need different silhouettes in our wardrobe. Right. What does a shoe like the Sharon Dasher do for us? I, in, like filling a need. It fills every need. I wear my Sharon Dasher all the time. In fact, I'm selling it at some point this week and I was like oh where is that and I was like it's in my car uh -huh. because I just always like after the gym that's what I put on to go do about amount my day it adds this wow factor I think a lot of times with fashion we're always drawn one to something that just is a little different but still in our style vein like I still love loafers but I am more feminine like I like girly stuff I obviously am wearing a rush ruffled shirt um, but I think this is that feminine take on a loafer and it's something you probably if you didn't get it last mm -hmm. year do not have right now more than 85,000 wow. have been ordered since it launched and here's the cool part I think is that more than 200 women have left five star reviews <gasps> for this shoe online. Great. When Carol was talking to us earlier, she was mentioning some of the contours of her feet that yeah. can make it a challenge to find a shoe that she loves and right. puts it on. Imagine the women who wrote those five-star reviews that would all say, oh, I need less arch support, or I need more, or I need more room around the toe, or, you know, I've got this happening at my heel, or whatever, that they all got what they needed out of this shoe. Amazing. It says a lot to me. You're right, because also this, unlike the patty, which is our um, big deal, mm -hmm. this is a closed toe, yep. closed back option, and the, the fact that it fits so many women, I think it's, one, the toe shape, it's the almond shape, which is flattering and feminine, but then it has so much room mm -hmm. at the ball of the foot right here where that bow accent goes over. And then that lightweight, high, it's um, a high absorbing EVA. So when you think of running shoes, this is mainly what your running shoe mm -hmm. is made out of. We oh. just sculpted it and crafted it to give it that serrated bottom and that just really polished finish. And that tan rand is almost mm -hmm. like an exclamation point yes. on a sentence. Like, I think that it helps separate and really drive home the beauty of the upper on these. We are both obsessed with the red. I'm so glad that it's I mean, not It muted makes me happy. Because I don't under, I mean, please wear this with your blacks and your grays and your yes. chocolate browns. Oh my God, a black pair of slacks and a gray sweater, I mean, a gray cashmere, yes. like Isaac cashmere. White, like a winter white Ooh. sweater with a black pant <gasps> and these shoes. Oh, that is so 1960s. Like, I love that. that. Yes. Please think about the red, but then we've also got it here in the navy. And then I'll show you your other darker color. This is the black, the pewter. We saw that one on Suzanne. Here's the gray. We've got it in a chocolate brown, and it's kind of a, more of a, I'd say kind of a, a tr is it milk or is it bittersweet? Because I can see both in this suede. It's beautiful either way. Yeah, I'm going to let you guys There's think of that at home. I'm not the best with the chocolate. Well, I would just go with like Hershey's. Okay, that's fair. You know, just sometimes it has a little bit more yellow or it can have a little bit more blue. Well, like in a, the color of a Hershey's kiss. Perfect. That's Thank milk. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's A311042. How we're ending our, officially ending with our hour with Amy and Clarks. But then there's the big deal. And so I just want to get this on your radar a leather clog from Clarks for under $45.